so it's um, Sunday morning it's eight o'clock in the morning we're on our way um, I think it's about 20 minutes away from us to pick up um, a second-hand desk we won on eBay for a tenner so bargain office desk and some drawers and that's gonna go into the new study uh, come music room for Lewis and um, oh, it's just such a hectic day today <laughs> <Is it? laughs> I mean we are um, what's it we've got to get back in time for 10 o'clock when my daughter has sold um, an old hand PSP um, and someone's coming to collect that that at 10 o'clock and she's not there she's in London um, so we've got to get that and at half 10 we've got someone coming to collect the VW camper that we've sold so and then I think it's one o'clock we've got Tesco's coming um, with a load of food um, because it's my birthday tomorrow and I'm doing buffet for the whole family this afternoon well this evening so they're all arriving at four so I'm cooking this afternoon and making sandwiches sausage rolls all those sort of things um, so it's really a tight schedule today and I'm sure there's something I've missed out as well but I can't remember what it is now <laughs> but um, it'll probably come to me but there's a lot on today um, so yeah so I'll just turn you around you can see where we're driving so I can't see very well but we are actually driving um, to a small place Tame or Tetsworth um, yeah so yeah it's about 20 minutes away from us it was really frosty this morning
sure if um, the desk will be dismantled or not. So we'll have to see. Lewis has brought some tools along with him, just in case we have to um, take it apart. So we shall see. Out for a morning run? Yeah, rather in the way it is cold. Solar panels and charge it up. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto A4129.
when um, I can't remember where I went instead. But Mikey and Dan went over here in the snow last year, last February. Yeah. And uh, there was trees down and everything. Come on, mate, get up, mate. Bit duck. <laughs> what he's doing in the middle of the road, I don't know. Looking for water, probably. Yeah, I didn't get there till about half nine or something. Wow. Instead of half seven, just snow, trees falling down, all sorts of stuff. But obviously going a lot slower. Yeah. You can see some proper out in the sticks road teas are sort of frosty or whatever. Still got a frost warning up, still reckons it's minus three. Does it? Is this further away than I thought it was? Said tame, obviously. Yeah, well, he put tame on eBay. Yeah. But it's not, it's Ted's which is. A lot further. It's definitely further. We've left, we've left tame. Right, well, we've got, got the desk. It's absolutely massive. I don't know if you can see in the back there. Uh, it is a massive desk. So, um, it's look, desk. it's a corner desk and it's really big. So, Lewis will have no excuse. He hasn't got enough um, work area for um, all his bits and pieces. So, uh, but it is absolutely freezing. Um, we've got. It's not so cold now, it's only minus two. Oh, only minus two apparently. Um, but I've got a red nose standing around by the car. And um, we've got an hour before the person comes, I think, for Amy to pick up this PSP that we've got to hand over. I've got to go and look in her room because I don't even know. No, she hasn't left it out. Probably. She hasn't left it out or anything because obviously she wasn't expecting someone to buy it and come and get it. So um, I'll have to hunt that down. And, uh, and then we've got the people coming for the VW um, at half 10. So I'm not sure how we'll manage to get this desk out of the car, because obviously the gentleman helped Lewis load it all up. Um, so uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to help him get it all out. We'll see. And then into the house. And then of course he'll want to start putting it together in between everything that's going on but once Tesco's arrived arrives I'm occupied because I'll be putting the food away preparing all the food for the afternoon so um, he wants to try and get it sorted before then and then he can muck about putting his computer in there and that sort of stuff so we'll see when we get back to the house if we can get it out but yeah the sun's coming out now it's quite a nice drive, isn't it? You got three of them round things. Yes. 
Yeah. These things. Cable tidy thing. Yeah. Yeah. And four big screws. So, so hopefully got everything. Um, what I need is a nice cup of tea. And maybe a slice of toast or a bit of cereal. I'm, I've got stomach pains. It's because we got up so early. <laughs> Unless we go through the drive through Lou. Go through the drive through Yeah, McDonald's. What, with this? Oh, does it not go through? Is it... They've got a height restriction on it. Oh, I thought you used to take um, the van through when you worked with Colin. Yeah, but this has got things poking out the top, hasn't it? Like TV oh, and all right, that. okay. Colin's van, and, uh, just flat on the top. Oh, right. It's the same oh. height. Oh, but don't open. worry, that was naughty anyway. It's not very diet friendly, is it? No, we'll have cereal or toast. That'll be better. So, right, I'll just turn you around. You can see a bit of the road. Someone's having their food delivered. It's now nine o'clock. a couple of years now so um, otherwise you've got speckled hen and ciders and a keg of ghost <laughs> you'll get through that 